Hey folks, Greg here, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a collector's edition for Gotham Knights, as well as its collector's compendium. So stick around, you won't want to miss this. Hey folks, if you enjoy this unboxing and review, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, notification button. It's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to start with the collector edition box. We also have a comic here, too, and I'll put the compendium aside. And as I unbox this, I just want to say I feel like this game got a really bad rap. I've been enjoying it immensely. I'm a huge Batman nerd. There's so many Easter eggs in here, and I absolutely love Tim Drake. He's my favorite Robin, and being able to play with him in this game and walk around Gotham and do all the Batman things is super cool. I've been having a blast with it. Okay, it's one big, big thing. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. The first thing we have here is... This is a steelbook? What is this? This is, this is weird. What is this? It is. It's, it's a, it's not a steelbook, but it definitely is a book. How weird. This thing is kind of cool. It's an LED book? What? Whoa! Okay! Oh, that's awesome! That is so... I'm sorry, I'm just... I love... I love Batman and his allies. You guys don't even realize. I think his allies are so much more interesting than Batman because they're fallible. They make mistakes and they're learning. And Batman just, you know, has countermeasures for everything. But you press the bottom of this and they're light and they're... Their symbols light up. That is so cool! Oh, wow! And it has a little, like... It has a little like art book in here. It's not huge, just a little art book of some concept designs, mass designs, uh, equipment designs, bike designs, city designs. I should actually got quite a lot of it in here. That's really cool. And that's just the LED slip case or the LED case. And of course we have the game on uh, PS5. Comes a copy of the game. That's sealed for now. Oh, is this a map of the whole this is, this is a map. Is this a map of the whole Gotham? I'm a sucker when things look realistic, like in collector's editions, like in our practical. I think that, that stuff is so cool. And if the map looks like a real map to a real place. Okay, yeah. New, we have New Gotham, North Gotham, Tri-Corner, which is historical Gotham, the Financial District, Old Gotham, and Lower Gotham. It has all the places there. Look at that beautiful map. It's really cool. Like you could hang that I want to kind of get this framed and hang it up on a wall. It would look kind of cool. I already have a, an RPD map from Resident Evil. Let me see if I can... Hey, just like a real map, I can't figure out how to fold it. So this is a certificate of authenticity and they made 20,000 of these. Now that's a lot. That's a lot of collector's editions. So they're not super limited. I'm sure you could get one if you really wanted to, but they do come with our with a certificate and authenticity. And they have this really cool pins. And I like pins. I, I collect pins. What is this? This is a limited edition Pinfinity augmented reality pin. And it looks like a key with uh, a claw in the middle, probably for the Court of Owls um, right here. I'm, I'm still in the middle of playing the game. I have not beaten it yet. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Like a scale is often hard to see in commercials, like in stills and images, unless you have something for, for perspective. But this thing is huge. Oh wow, it is huge. Okay, so I'm really picky about my statues. And while I do appreciate how big this scale is, because it is a really large scale, I am a tad disappointed with the painting. And here's the reason why. So like, they have a lot of texture in the piece and the texture looks great. However, I wish there was like something in the texture to give it more depth. Uh, I talk about, I, I paint miniatures and you can do what's called a washing or an inking where they, it's a very watery substance, of different colors like black, blues, reds, whatever and you brush it over and it seeps into the cre cre the crevasses, the crevices of the, the model and it gives it more depth, makes it make things pop more. And a lot of the stuff just because it's one flat color and it's just textured, it looks a little washed out. There is a lot of like raised, uh, raised armor on them, which is kind of cool. It gives them a little bit more like dimension. So like Nightwing has his logo. His logo isn't painted on, it's actually protruding out of his costume. Like it's, I can't tell if it's part of the mold or if it's glued on but like that's kind of cool i like that i like how his shoulder pads like they feel like they're a separate piece red hood too like all his his vest and his logos and stuff like that they all they're all raised so they're all like it gives it a lot of depth which is kind of cool even barbara's stuff is raised like it's not just painted on even the belt the symbol uh the gloves 
Wow, actually it looks kind of, actually, I really do like that. It gives it a sense of like three dimensions. That's actually kind of cool. Robin, I, I love how Robin's in the forefront. As I said, Robin's my favorite character uh, in the Batman mythos. He is looking a bit down though. If he was looking a little bit more straight, that might be good. This is like, the scale is really, really, really good. Uh, the paint on the Gotham Knights, the, God, the base itself looks a little cheap. Uh, they tried to do like a Gotham Knights logo here and uh, the Gotham City uh, light, light and Power manhole which does add a little bit uh, more variety to the base, but like it's it's just, yeah, the base looks a little cheap. There is a little bit of dry brushing, not much. They needed to go ham on the dry brushing for the base to really make it stand out. So at, out of all the people on this statue, I gotta say Red Hood looks the best. I think because he has the most going on, he has like a bunch of straps and armor pieces and he has clips for his, his non-lethal projectile guns. And he's got a lot of stuff going on. There was a little bit of bleeding on some of this, some of this stuff uh, on his red, because uh, it's, it, it's probably machine painted. But like, I mean, it's not terrible looking. I've seen, here's the thing. I've seen worse statues, but I've definitely seen better. This is definitely middle of the road. Not sure if it would be worth 300 bucks. It's not too bad from far away. It looks kind of cool. When you get closer up, you start to see little inconsistencies, but it's not, not by no means a deal breaker. But we didn't just get the collector's edition, we got the collector's compendium. This is the art lore and strategy of Gotham Knights. And I'm really loving the art design in this game. Uh, I do have the Nightfall outfit on Robin right now, which is my favorite outfit. But, oh wow, look at that gorgeous purple color. Color in a Batman game, you know? Like, they've had color before. Wow, it shows you, it has like Gotham City in here. It talks about the map, the challenges, the Belfry, the night patrols, the burrows. Like concept art for uh, for Batgirl, uh, Barbara Gordon, which is interesting. I thought they were gonna go Cassandra Cain because the Canes are actually in the game, but they went with Barbara Gordon. Like her concepts, art, and what she would look like. This stuff is so cool to see it evolve and grow over the course of a game's development, which is really cool. Like the narrative director talks in here a little bit. It's not just an art book, like it gives kind of in-depth ideas of what they went through. The Nightwing concept art is awesome. Like, so you have like the classic Nightwing thing here, then like his, some of his concepts of different armors and different masks. Whether or not the pupils would be white or see-through, I'm sure that was an interesting conversation. All of Nightwing stuff. Oh, Red Hood, his poison thermal and cryo clips. This stuff is great. Ah, oh, here we go, my boy. My boy, Tim. Look at, that's the Nightfall outfit. I love that outfit. That's my favorite outfit in the game right now. I love it so much. And it has him here. And like, of course he's the youngest. He's under 21 in the game, which is cool. Sorry, I'm nerdy now. Um, they have like uh, some of his other con core concepts arts. They have a slingshot in here, which is of course a Carrie Kelly throwback from The Dark Knight Returns, uh, which was really, which is really clever. And then his different bow staff and what his bow staff would look folded up and what it would look like with the different elemental stuff on it. And it gives a little in-depth combat. This thing is really freaking cool. Man, this game got such a, b a bad rap. It's so unfair this game got a bad rap. I've been really, really enjoying it. Like exceptionally more than I probably should have been enjoying it. Wow, this like there's a ton of information here about the watch, characters, NPCs, villain showdowns. Oh wow, this there's so much stuff in here. Like the different gangs, Clayface. Oh, it is Carlo. I thought it was Hagen. I wasn't sure if it was Hagen or Carlo. I haven't even met him yet. But yeah, absolutely terrifying design on Clayface. Mr. Fre Mr. Freeze, the Court of Owls. League of Shadows. Wow, this stuff is great. Like uh, some concepts art and storyboards of the beginning opening cinematic. It just like, I, I, people don't appreciate the time and effort a game like this was a big AAA game. It took years to make, you know, like there's a lot of moving parts. Batmobile concepts. Like this is the stuff you only see in the opening, right? Which is the, I don't know if you go to the Batcave at the very end, but giant T-Rex robot. This is all stuff you saw in the opening that they modeled in here, which is so cool. That is amazing. That's a really cool book. So that was really cool. Like, I mean, I, I kind of nerded out about the book there for a minute. Sorry about that. There's just a lot of cool concept art in here, uh, an in-depth guide about like how their thought process and how they set everything up. That was, that was really cool. The statue is okay. I, like I said, I've seen worse, but I've definitely seen better. Is it worth 300 bucks? I mean, that's up to you, right? I mean, I, I, mean, I got this sent to me for free. What, would I pay $300 for it? Maybe so it's just that's why we make these videos to help you decide on this kind of thing So I believe this this was on sale for like Black Friday and stuff. It might be still on sale If it is on sale for under 200, I would say grab it. Uh, I wouldn't say pay 300 bucks for it That might be a bit much uh, But definitely if it's under 200 bucks that may be worth it 
And honestly, I was a little more impressed by the official collector's compendium, which is different. This, this retails for $45. If you like art books and stuff like that, this was a really cool book, has a beautiful outside cover. Uh, and it's amazing. If you want it, even if you want more Gotham Knights, there's also the limited run comic that they've released. I'm sure you can find this somewhere. Uh, it was just thrown in with me as a kind of a bonus thing. But thank you, WB Games, for sending me this stuff. I really do appreciate it. If you want to get your collector's edition, it might be on sale. I'll leave a link in the description below. And hey, if you enjoyed this unboxing and review, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, notification button. It's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. So for more unboxing and reviews, you're already in my place. You're on shacknews.com.